So I didn't know if I was going to make a video about this, but it's been bothering me, so I thought I'd talk about it. Recently, I got banned from TikTok, and the reason why is incredibly dumb. My editor put up a stream clip on my TikTok that was me reacting to a news article about the Colorado shooter. In the clip, I found out that the Colorado shooter's grandfather was a Republican lawmaker, and rightfully, I got super fucking pissed about it. The TikTok AI and its infinite wisdom decided that I was disparaging protected classes. I think that's what it said. And they decided to ban me for an indefinite amount of time, as far as I can tell. And I'm not even really that upset about getting banned from TikTok. TikTok is a Mickey Mouse Clubhouse ass app where you can't even say fuck without getting banned. The fact that I'm even on that platform in the first place is a goddamn miracle. But what really bothers me is that this isn't a TikTok specific issue. The content that I make is constantly getting either demonetized or I'm getting temporary suspensions like the one I'm talking about with TikTok. For instance, in the last month, I've had to stop using the word transgender in the title of my videos on YouTube. Literally no idea why. But for whatever reason, every time I put transgender in the title of one of my YouTube videos, it gets demonetized. I don't know if this is a site-wide thing, if other content creators have the same issue. So if this is an issue other people have had, please tell me because it absolutely drives me insane and pisses me right the fuck off. Especially considering that people like Matt Walsh, Ben Shapiro, the people at Daily Wire, and countless right-wing pundits have made hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars, by spreading trans panic. It's looking like you can call a trans person a pedophile and a groomer and still be monetized. But if you call a trans person a trans person, you'll get demonetized. Explain this logic to me. And this is incredibly frustrating, especially considering the time that we live in. 2022 has seen more anti-trans legislation introduced in various state legislatures than any other year on record. There have been more than 200 recorded attacks against LGBT events in the United States, many of which spurred on by right-wing commentary like libs of TikTok, like Tucker Carlson, like Matt Walsh. People who do it intentionally because they want people to fear for their lives. And unlike libs of TikTok and Tucker Carlson and Matt Walsh and the Daily Wire people, the people fighting for trans rights aren't backed by big money. They don't have billions of dollars behind them. Right now we're in the middle of a culture war. The right has decided to use trans people as the new scapegoat so they can avoid talking about the real issues facing America today. So getting back to TikTok and YouTube, 2023 is going to be the year that I really push hard to try and dip my metaphorical balls into every algorithm that I can. I don't have the resources behind me, but every single stream that I do, I have someone thanking me for giving them the courage to come out when at the end of the day, it was them that did it. And all I did was build a community. But the only way that I was able to build that community was because of the platform that I developed on Twitter. A platform that is not looking like it has much of a future at all. So with the future of Twitter being uncertain, I'm gonna be working really hard. As soon as I get my TikTok back, I'm going to be going back to daily uploads. The YouTube channel is still doing daily uploads. And I'm gonna be doing everything I can to continue building the community that we've been building for the last two years. I've been through a lot of shit in the last year. And honestly, that's kind of an understatement to say. And there were a lot of things that people wanted answers to that they couldn't get answers to because I wasn't able to talk about them. But now that things have died down, no one actually even cares, which is really funny to me. Like for instance, for several months, I was harassed almost on a daily basis, if not actually on a daily basis about what I was doing with the legal fund money. And then I announced it. I said, okay, I actually am finally going forward. I've settled down in my new place. I'm safe. I'm ready to go back to my life. And just crickets. Because so much of the criticism against me wasn't actually sincere criticism. It was simply a veneer that they used because they wanted to justify harassing a trans person that they didn't like. And a lot of them call themselves or think of themselves as progressive. So they needed a good reason to do that. So the lesson that I think that I came away with through all of that is that I'm not going to engage with the trolls anymore. There's literally no reason to. 
And I have a very strict moderation team to make sure that they can't brigade the comment sections on the YouTube channel. Sorry if the editing was rough on this. I think this is the first video that I have ever uploaded to the channel that was actually edited by myself. I have an editor for the channel, Isabel. She's great. Hire her. Her name's in the description on like every video. But that said, I thought this would be a pretty easy video for me to edit and a way for me to test out my editing skills, which were kind of rusty. I'm planning on doing exclusive YouTube commentary videos pretty frequently in the near future. So if there are any topics you want to see covered, please let me know in the comment section because there's a completely different crowd on the YouTube channel than on the Twitch channel. I don't know how many people watch these videos and also watch the streams but that's okay because not everyone wants to get their information from an eight hour long stream when you could get it from like a 10 15 20 minute video so i'm going to be doing both from now on i think having them short to the point and regularly uploaded so everyone can just get the information that they want without having to sit through the streams would be pretty cool but I'm not going to stop streaming as much as I do because I love the stream and I love the community that is built around the stream. So that's really all I had to say. This video was more of an excuse to make a video to let people know that I'm doing commentary on YouTube now. But also, I developed quite a bit of a fandom on TikTok in only the short amount of time I was on there. All of my videos were getting more than 20, 30,000 views. One of them hit 100,000. I think I only had nine TikToks. So that's pretty good in my books. So any of the people I met on TikTok who find this video, if you're wondering why I'm not posting, I'm in gay baby jail until TikTok lets me out. If you made it this far and you're not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. It means a lot to me and it helps me to boost these videos in the algorithm so that more people can see them. And I think that's it. So on a closing note, I just want to say Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and I hope that you have a wonderful night.